lips and facial attractiveness. A subject close to all of our hearts, really. A great deal is said and debated about lips, almost as if lips are uh, set. They don't change. They are just what you were born with, what you inherited. But clearly that's not true. I mean, lips can change greatly. Lips are muscle. Muscle can change. Ask Arnold Schwarzenegger if you can change muscle. It's clearly possible. And lips are nearly all muscle with a little bit of connective tissue and some skin over the top of them. Um, there's certain features within lips. Um, the vermilion border is a very interesting point. This is where the um, mucosa, the skin running down through your intestinal tract, meets the um, keratinized skin of the outside, the body skin, that's got keratin in it that um, is useful. It's better at taking knocks and bangs than the skin inside your mouth. Um, and that meets at the vermilion border. You've got commissioners on either side. You've got your cupid's bow in the middle. And of course, you've got this philtrum. The philtrum, that's fascinating. Um, you've got two philtrums either side, and that's because this section of the body, this section of the body, and the central section of the body all came together from three different directions to meet. And when you see people with cleft or hair lips, it's a failure of this process that leads to hair, hair lips and cleft palates. And um, you, um, the vermilion border is fascinating. I think the vermilion border is often fascinating around the lower lip, particularly in this area here. If you use your orbicularis oris muscle, the muscle that runs through horizontally on the bottom lip, to keep your lip closed or to swallow, so you do. This sort of action, you build that muscle up as you would with a muscle. And the, as the muscle increases its size, it gets to the point where the vermilion border along here becomes obliterated. Because almost like there's swelling going on. Well, there is a swelling. There's a swelling of the muscle underneath. And I remember having a, um Iranian girlfriend who would take a line, a pencil, and mark the line along the lip. And she's trying to emulate having a well-defined vermilion border, because people who have well-defined vermilion borders are functioning correctly, and if you're functioning correctly, then we consider that to be beautiful, because we want to be attracted to someone who functions correctly. Now, that whole of the bottom lip, you see that bottom lip slightly larger than the top lip, well, that it shouldn't be, the, the lips should be the same sizes, and the most perfect lips are, but they're difficult to find. Now, this bottom lip is a slightly larger because they're using the mentalis muscle. If you close your lip like this, the mentalis muscle causes the lip to avert. The lip's the same size, you're just seeing more of it, so it appears larger. So the whole bottom lip goes, and it rotates over and forwards. Now, people who purse their lips are doing exactly the opposite, but often with both lips, and that often gives a slightly mean, unattractive look. But again, it's the function and posture of your lips that's forming their shape. And of course, your upper lip can often become a, what we refer to as atrophic. That if the bottom lip is doing all the work, with the inter in recruiting the mentalis muscle, then frequently the top lip can come to do absolutely nothing. And you can find people with top lips that really have no shape, no definition, and when you watch them functioning and speaking and resting, the top lip doesn't do anything. Because the bottom lip's taken over all of these functions. And you usually see these people have got a, a longer distance here than they do here, a shorter distance here, and a big long distance down here. But I cannot get over how versatile, how dynamic lips are. And you watch people with good lip form, they generally keep their lips together and they generally have good function. And when I mean good function, when you see someone swallowing, they should swallow like this. They shouldn't swallow like this. It should be a passive lip swallow. 
and all the most gorgeous girls I've seen swallow. With almost no movement of lips. And that's getting good function. And that will give you good shape. And that is quite important.